So let's get right into core. We're going to start off with ankle taps. Um, so go ahead and take a spot on your back, find an open space. What we're going to do here is you're going to push your low back down into the floor. Think of a string pulling your chest up to the ceiling. You're not crunching with your neck. You're going to be here. Okay, really engage the abs. Train them the way you want them to be. So when you lift up, don't push them up and out. You want to train them in and down. So feel that lift from here. Keep your eyes up at the ceiling. Otherwise your neck may start to cramp. From here, your palms are going to be up and you're going to tap your pinky to your heel, kind of towards your ankle. We're going to go here. We're going to get warmed up, starting with a core circuit. All the while pushing your low back into the floor. We're gonna go here for about a minute. I've got the timer up on the screen. Really feel your sides crunching. Make it a side bend. Keep your head up at the ceiling. Keep lots of the tension in the core. Good. The next thing we're moving on to are single leg V-ups. You're gonna be on your back. Arms are gonna be overhead. This one, I want you to try and keep your arms by your ears, all right? When you're lifting up, you're going to crunch and you're going to try and reach for your toe. So some people who have tighter hamstrings, um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to reach your toe, but that is your eventual goal. It's okay if you don't get it today. The more you practice, the better you'll get. So you're up to here. There's one. The other leg can stay down on the floor. If you're feeling like this is too hard, you can modify, and you can go knees bent. Eventually working your way to one leg straight and the other leg bent to here. I'm gonna go back to this one. Keep going with whatever modification you feel is appropriate for you. If you were doing the straight legs with me, Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. One more. Great. Good job. It should be burning right now. The next one is hollow rocks. You're going to be, you can start kind of anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to show you each modification and you do what you can do. If you feel pain at any time, obviously stop and move on to the next one. So from here, the first progression is knees bent. Same kind of position as when we were doing the ankle taps. So you're gonna push your low back down. Your knees are bent here. You're gonna keep this kind of like you have a turtle shell on your back. You're gonna rock back and forth, just through here, okay? Keeping the engagement in the abs, pushing them down. If your back comes up off of the floor, you're gonna to start to move. So that is your indicator if you're going here, See how my back is not coming down on the floor and I'm not round? I'm starting to scoot this way because my back is not round, which means that your core is not as engaged as it could be. So back to it, start very small, okay? Go from here. If this feels appropriate for you and hard enough, stay here. If you want a challenge, start to straighten one leg and then you can halfway switch legs all the way through. If you're up for the challenge, keep going, okay? Legs are straight, and you're doing a hollow rock here. This is the most advanced one, same thing, keep pushing. Your low back down, squeeze your butt, legs straight. For another five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Then you should be cramping, screaming, and yelling at you right about now. Last one in this core circuit, and you should be fairly warm. They're called lemon squeezers. Um, I realize with my clients that I have very strange names for things, and I think that comes from gymnastics. So working with kids, a lot of the times you gotta have fun names for things so that they remember. And also that's kind of how I was trained. So some people call these in and outs, um, tuck-ins, but I prefer to call them lemon squeezers because it gives you a visual of how you should be engaging and really squeezing into the center. So that hollow body we just did, is the shape that is gonna be your home base, okay? So you're gonna hit that hollow body in between each um, lemon squeezer. So you can feel free to start up here, find your balance. This is kind of where your 
center is going to be. You're going to extend out to that hollow body shape, come right back up, okay? Back and forth here. Do your best. Always hit that shape. Let yourself go down low enough. If you're here, that's fine. Find that threshold right where you start to shake and then come back up. Keep going. Really keep your arms away from your legs. That is a cheat. So make sure that they're far enough away. If the, doing this is really tempting, make yourself have fists. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful. All right, you should have rock solid abs right now. They should be firing and pumping, ready to go for your workout.